Germany is a country that does a very good job of, you know, has an excellent vocational training system, uh, keeps people employed. Uh, uh, Denmark is very good at reactivating workers who are displaced. Um, you know, in general, countries that have better institutions are more adaptable. They're, they're better adapting to these changes. So what is your impression of Sweden? Well, Sweden's institutions are excellent. I mean, in terms of having a good education system, I know people in Sweden are concerned that it's not as good as it used to be. Everyone always thinks that nothing's as good as it used to be as a given. But I mean, it, uh, but uh, uh, democratic representation, uh, transparency, low levels of corruption, a high degree of accountability, and uh, an ability to change in response to change in circumstances, uh, complemented by highly educated workforce, a good infrastructure, uh, and you know decent fiscal and monetary policy that allows you to you know not run huge trade deficits, even trade surpluses. So I, I mean I think Sweden's poised to adapt. Uh, countries that are less adaptive are ones that are uh, corrupt, uh, that uh, that where there's not good representation, where and there you know there were you know take the example of the you know Russia, it's all great when the oil price is high. Uh, and, and not so much otherwise, they're relying on some external force, they're not being able to make the investments that allow them to adapt to those changes.